So today we are going to talk about project management in Jira. Let's start. Um, ILM Works is a company who develops specialized project management solutions that empower project managers and portfolio managers who oversee multiple projects. Uh, founded in 2004, ILM Works has an early contributor to the Atlassian ecosystem. Today, our flagship product, Structure for Jira, is used uh, by more than uh, 4,000 uh, big companies around the world. So then we, we are talking about project management. It is always about deliver on time and on budget. And the most popular tools here are Excel and uh, MS Project. But all of our tasks are in Jira, right? Since it is the most popular tracker nowadays. Uh, and uh, well, you always can just manually um, rewrite all tasks in MS Project or Excel but you will do it every day and uh, edit it several times. Also, you can use some connector plugins, um, but you will struggle with compatibility problems, performance, configuration, sharing of these documents and so on. Um, and other possibility is just to do everything inside Jira. But in Jira, it is hard to track several projects in, in one place. Uh, that's why we created Structure. It is our main product. Uh, it's designed to help you more easily manage project at the portfolio levels and actually in all levels of your uh, organization. Uh, it helps Atlassian's largest customers visualize, track and manage progresses uh, with spreadsheet-like view of Jira issues and adaptive user-defined issue hierarchies that map to Jira issue links. Uh, so with structure, portfolio managers can easily organize issues and tasks from any Jira project in structures like containers of tasks uh, that present crucial information in more compelling, easy to digest view. We also have uh, additional extension for structure named structure.gant and uh, it is the most popular structure extension. It enables you to visualize Jira project information on familiar Gantt charts. Uh, with it, you can uh, instantly see issues and dependencies on a project timeline, as well as resources, uh, resource allocation across projects. And Structure Gantt is flexible enough to adapt to your Jira project configuration, uh, even if they different across project. So uh, let's go through uh, popular use cases for project management and how you can do it in uh, Jira uh, with our products. First one is a planning, of course. So in Excel, you always can uh, just write down all your data and calculate uh, things like uh, summary of your um, work, uh, time spent or something like that. And yeah, of course, you can do it in uh, our structure too. Uh, I will show you how to do it in several clicks. So let's create a new structure. For that purpose, just click on structure and create new structure. Let's say from scratch, from empty one. Just define a name. Excel like plane, for example. And uh, that's all. Now we can pull some issues into this uh, container of tasks. You can do it automatically by special rules here, defined here in automation button. Uh, for example, insert uh, allows you to define your own GQL or define a board from where you want to insert issues. Uh, for example, we, ha we have a special project here named LM uh, Initiatives and there is uh, issues with type uh, initiatives. Uh, oh. mm -hmm. Let's put them. Voila, all our tasks appear automatically. But I don't think that it is enough for you, just one level of the hierarchy. Let's add another one, just clicking off on automation button again and select extend. Uh, we can choose uh, how to add other levels of the hierarchy. For example, we are, well right now we are building structure from the highest level to the lowest one. Uh, so let's say the next level will connect via links. So we'll choose linked issues here and define a type of link. Uh, 
uh, we used uh, implements on our instance. Uh, this one was created manually in Jira, so it's Jira functionality. You can create your own link types. And uh, in structure, you can define the direction uh, of the links. Magically, all other um, levels happen, uh, added here. Uh, after that, I can add um, stories under my epics. Voila. And if I need pretty the same, I can add um, subtasks under my stories. Just add subtasks. Here. Um, then, um, if we are talking about plane, uh, you probably will need some summarized values based on lowest level of the hierarchy. So you can see totals uh, near the name of your structure. Uh, it is really easy. Uh, for all numeric fields, um, you are able to just summarize. Uh, it can be formula or just a field. It is always here, just sum over sub items. For example, I can add another column clicking on plus button, uh, let's say original estimate, and just click on sum. Yeah, and see the total. The next example is about risk analysis. Probably you already have some Excel with colorful uh, cells in it to show if it if the task is risky or not. And we can do something similar inside the structure. Uh, for that purpose, we have a formula column where you can define using our own um, built-in language how you want to highlight issues and use uh, wiki markup there. Pretty the same you use in Jira itself. And we also have a small extension uh, structure.testy. It was originally created for uh, testing purpose, but it is actually just a drop down where you can define this status. So it can be passed or failed in case of test management, but it also can be risky or a problem or just okay <laughs> in case of risk analysis. And recently we released a new uh, structure version 6.0 where they introduced a new feature named effectors. And uh, before this feature, all data we have uh, calculated via formulas was available in our structures only. But sometimes you will need to show these values to other guys. So it should be possible to show them on issue pages also. And now it's possible too. Let's see how it works. So uh, let's say we have uh, some due dates uh, in our Jira and let's say we have a, a custom field like, like health. <laughs> is it risky or not? Uh, is it overdue uh, task or not? And uh, then we can define the formula how we would like to calculate if it is uh, overdue task. Um, let's say we will, if uh, due date is not empty. Uh, we will uh, do this calculation. Uh, we added new um, variable named time left. It is like due date minus now, like time right now. Uh, and uh, yeah, added uh, another condition there. So if time left um, variable is uh, more than zero, then their time left. So it will be just shown in the, uh, in the cell. If it is not, so if time left is less than zero or equal, uh, we will write down the overview text, just the text. It's okay, you can see the green tick. You can change variables if you need. And you also can see the result of your formula. So the overview text. Yeah, this overview uh, is shown in structure only, but we would like to add it to um, health custom field. So it is real custom field that we added to the issue screen, and we would like to uh, synchronize our values from the formula to this health column. Uh, 
you define the edit the new effector via automation button and plus sign and then we define from which column we would like to uh, sync data and to which one now run you can show the preview before um, agreeing to change or you can skip it if you want I'd say it's more uh, it's scary to skip them <laughs> uh, so let's see and apply all changes you can minimize it and show in background if it is something um, like long yeah there is overview here let's go next uh, our uh, next example is about tracking and reporting and it is a huge possibilities inside Excel for that uh, purpose so you can define your own formulas to track something um, you have filters and all that stuff but you have something similar in structure too uh, first of all a lot of uh, um, our customers use dashboard for reporting needs so you just create a beautiful dashboard for for your team or for uh, the person you need to report to and add gadgets here go next it is about dependencies tracking and of course the first tool come to your mind should be ms project uh, but uh, you can see gun charts in jira too uh, and uh, again recently we released uh, structure 6.0 of these effectors and they will help a lot in our next example let's say we have a structure and visualization of this structure in gun chart view and we have some start and finish dates for this structure for these uh, tasks in the structure uh, some of them are calculated um, by our gun chart it is the uh, columns gun start and gun finish uh, and the start date and finish date are columns from just Jira fields uh, let's see so uh, yeah now we just change uh, something in the chart it means that uh, dates will be recalculated in uh, uh, in chart but not in Jira if you do not use Jira field to uh, plan and we also can add an effector uh, to synchronize your calculated values into Jira fields again it's effector attribute to, to issue field uh, we define a column and the uh, field you want to synchronize to um, again we can select uh, show in preview before really change something select what we would like to change uh, or just apply to all rows uh -huh. and uh, voila it's completed this is Henry Gant he is the inventor of Gant chart and he is really surprised why people go in agile uh, but you also can uh, do project management in agile environment via gun charts uh, the changes here is that you do not plan exact dates but you plan uh, by sprints right and you can see that you easily can manage other sprints and see future sprints right here and you even can uh, change the sprint um, right from this uh, particular um, drop down and changes will be applied um, after clicking outside so uh, structure and Gantt can help you to organize issues and tasks track manage and visualize progress um, in Jira and present the information uh, from different levels on one page so you can really keep anything together on one page uh, it is a combi combination of Excel like calculations and MS project like visualization and uh, if you still want to have uh, an Excel file <laughs> you always can um, just export the structure to Excel or export gun chart to PDF and show it as a file yeah thank you for watching uh, you can try our products on ilm.works slash demo or download it from marketplace uh, if you have any questions please do not hesitate to contact me directly that's all thanks